Let's imagine we're some genius engineer scientist who, for now, is this puppet. Let's name him Bowie. And let's say Bowie is in outer space. His most recent project is to build an asteroid mining spacecraft. It has to be strong and tough. His job for the time being is to determine what this spacecraft should be made of. This is how he thinks he's going to do it. The first thing you need to know about mechanical properties is what in the world a Pascal is. Pascals are a unit of measurement, much like meters, amps, pounds, miles, degrees, volts, milligrams, ohms, etc, etc. However, Pascals measure pressure, so how much force in the form of pushing, compressing, etc is being enacted. But a Pascal is only a teeny tiny bit of pressure. To give you an idea, think about atmospheric pressure. You probably don't feel any atmospheric pressure right now. You're not dizzy, you're not nauseous, nothing. A thousand pascals or one kilopascal is less than the atmospheric pressure you're feeling right now. And you're not even feeling anything right now. Because pascals are such small measurements of pressure, you typically hear more about megapascals or gigapascals. It's the same thing as megabytes and gigabytes. A megapascal is one million pascals, and a gigapascal is a billion pascals. Their annotations are MPA and GPA. So, now that we know how the strengths and structures of materials are often measured, we can actually look at these mechanical properties. Bowie first wants to think about a material's Young's modulus. This property describes its elasticity, so how easily it stretches and bounds back into its original form. The lower a material's Young's modulus, the more elastic it is. So, for example, the Young's modulus of a rubber band, which is super elastic, is only about 55 MPa, but the Young's modulus of titanium is 116 gigapascals. The next property Bowie should consider is tensile strength, or sometimes known as UTS, ultimate tensile strength. This is how much a material can withstand tension or being pulled apart. When talking about engineering, it's important that materials have high tensile strength because it means they're not easily elongated. The higher a material's tensile strength, the more it can endure itself being pulled apart. Lastly, Bowie ought to keep in mind the fatigue strength of his materials. This property measures how much a material can withstand pressure in cycles without breaking. That is to say, more than just how strong it is, but how strong it'll be repeatedly. Think of climbing a mountain. Fatigue strength would measure how much effort you have to exhaust before you totally break down. In the case of titanium, its fatigue strength is roughly 360 MPa. By keeping all these mechanical properties in mind, Bowie is able to build the most beautiful and most structurally sound spacecraft the world has seen in decades. He decides to name it the GOAT, and he hopes it'll show Elon Musk his place. Bowie also hopes that you remember his little crash course in mechanical properties and that you bring your ideas to life using some edgy mechanical engineering.